With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, your question is read the following statements A to D and answer the question that follows them. A. Infundibulum in the thyroid is a thin flap of connective tissue. B. Rupturing of raffian follicles to release ovum is mediated by LH that is luteinizing hormone. The source of growth hormone and prolactin are different. Hormones are non-nutrient chemicals. How many of the above statements are incorrect? And the options are none, one, two, three. So the first statement is A. Infundibulum in the thyroid is a thin flap of connective tissue is the incorrect statement because both the lobes of the thyroid glands are interconnected with a thin flap of connective tissue that is called as isthmus not the infundibulum and infundibulum is basically a funnel shaped funnel shaped proximal part of the fallopian tube so, this statement is incorrect. Now, the rupturing of graphene follicles to release ovum is mediated by luteinizing hormone. This is the correct statement as the luteinizing hormone LH is produced by the pituitary gland in the brain and it stimulates the ovaries to produce estrogen and progesterone and the LH surge, the increase in the level of LH and FSH basically the LH surge LH surge induces ovulation induces ovulation which is the release of a mature ovum release of a mature ovum from the ovary and it promotes the development of the corpus luteum corpus luteum which is formed by the rupture of graphene follicle so this statement is correct now the third is source of growth hormone and prolactin are different is the incorrect statement because the source for both growth hormone and prolactin is the pituitary gland so the source is same not different so this statement is incorrect. Now hormones are non-nutrient chemicals is the correct statement. As hormones are non-nutrient chemicals which act as intercellular messengers and are produced in trace amounts. So two statements are incorrect and two statements are correct. So the correct option for this question is two. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.